Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless Student. In today's video, I'm going to be answering a question that a lot of you guys ask me before you get your iPad Pros, which is how, how many gigabytes of the iPad Pro do you need for your note taking and document annotation? So I always recommend most of you guys to get 128 gigabytes. That's because I just feel like it's really safe. But honestly speaking, 32 and 64 gigabytes will also work just as well because documents are not very big files. But the reason why I always recommend that you get 128 gigabytes is so that you make room for photos and media consumption because you might get your iPad Pro with the intention to use it strictly for notes, but you never know what you might want to do with it in the future so i'm going to show you guys my own ipad pro i have the 128 gigabytes and i'm going to show you what i have on my ipad so i'm just going to show you the storage that i have on my ipad so basically you guys can see that out of 128 gigabytes i only have 51.3 gigabytes that i have used so far i consume a lot of media i edit my videos on my ipad pro and i also have my music so that's why it's taking up a lot of my space but if you're just going to be using documents i'm going to show you why you don't really need a lot of space for your documentation you guys can see from my ipad breakdown that i mostly have applications they're taking up the most on my ipad then i have media and then i have photos then mail and books um so the books are from ibooks and my mail i don't really use mail that much at least not on my ipad anyway so for my media i have a lot of music i have all my music from high school and that's almost eight gigabytes the most i have in one application that's because music is you know music files are a bit large and then the next one i have is liquid text my liquid text has seven gigabytes so you guys can see that for my liquid text i have a lot of documents up to seven gigabytes of documents and that's because most of my documents in liquid text are duplicates so because of that i was duplicating that same document in different notes that i was taking and i realized after some time that this was actually taking up a lot of space so i changed my strategy on how i use my liquid text and i still have to delete the other copies that i've made the ridiculously many copies that I made in this application. Besides that, most of these textbooks, they're really small, the biggest being maybe 200 megabytes. So basically documents are not that big and they don't take up much space. And this is one of my main applications that I use for my study. So this gives you a rough idea of just how much space you need for taking notes. And then Pinnacle Pro, it's um editing application that I have. So because it deals with videos, it's a bit, you know, complicated. It has a lot of files. I have PDF Expert, which also has a lot of um PDFs that I have. And then I also have photos. I have a lot of photos because I take photos of a lot of my uh, schoolwork and most of my traces, my tracings that I trace and procreate, I mostly save those in my photos and then i have photo affinity this is a, a photo editing application and so basically it edits my raw files of photos that i take those photos are very huge files then i also have good notes i use good notes to keep most of my files my documents but file manager is my main file managing application and these are the documents that I have in my application. I only have 1.2 gigabytes and this gives you a realistic idea of just how many textbooks and documents I need in one semester because this is the file, the application that I put all my notes into at the beginning of the semester. All the notes that I need that I'll need for that semester, I'll put them in my file manager. The next one is GarageBand which has 1.5 gigabytes. This is really big. Um, that's because the application itself is huge. I don't actually have any documents in this, but this application comes with your iPad Pro. And if you were to delete it, you have to buy it back. So I just decided to keep it. And hopefully that someday I will be very musical enough to need this application. But I really don't. It will probably be used by my friends or somebody else. And then I have my Scanner Pro, which I absolutely love. You guys know already. Then I have my Notability. So my notability has all my notes that I have, my note taking for my lectures, for my classes and my audio recordings as well for different classes. 
and you guys can see just how small this application is so really honestly speaking a 32 gig 64 128 they'll all do they'll all work for for your ipad pro because really the files are not that big so that is all about the space that you're going to need on your ipad pro i hope you guys found this video useful if you found it useful give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to subscribe because i release a new video every week make sure that you turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out when i release a new video yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next video bye